Okay, so we're talking about The Boys Episode 6. Um, this came out Friday, and sadly, I hadn't even thought about it till I was reminded of it yesterday. I just haven't had the time. There was quite a bit of things, errands I had to get done, so... Yeah, just watch that, and Lovecraft Country. Um, this episode was... I, in my opinion, very good. Uh, it did something that I, uh, it's shocking that more shows don't do, which is follow the main story and actually continue the main story instead of branching off every fucking time. And so this episode, I feel like it focuses on the relationship of Starlight and Butcher, kind of their, you know, he doesn't like soups. And she's trying to figure out why he's such an asshole. But then you also have... They finally really go in depth with Lamplighter. And I was looking forward to that. And they definitely did a good job. Um, it's a little weird. You know, I wonder if they did it on purpose. How you pick Iceman from X-Men to be basically like a pyro soup for the boys. Which is still, you know, welcome. But, yeah, so, without spoiling a lot, I'll say the basic premise of this episode is figuring out that uh, after Starlight looked through Stormfront's um, email, they figured out to go to that uh, facility, Seagrave, I think. I believe that's what it's called, or something grave. I just cannot remember. But the boys uh, go there and figure out that it's basically a facility f for testing on people, adult humans, well, yeah, adults, uh, to see if Compound V can be stabilized for an adult. And so you see more new powers. Um, you see one that's pretty fucking gross. I'll leave it at that. I'll wait till people watch that themselves. It's pretty, f it's pretty disgusting, but it's not a superpower that I had thought of ever. So I'll give them credit for uh, uniqueness, if you can say that. But you see another soup, which you're like, oh, okay, that explains what happened in episode one, I believe. So you're like, oh shit, where is that going? You see. You learn more about the backstory of Lamplighter and when he killed Madeline. No, not still. Sorry. Yeah, the like the boys, their original commander lady. You figure out what was happened that night when he murdered her grandchildren and how Frenchie was supposed to be tailing him, and then you figure out just a lot of things. More on the backstory of both characters, both Lamplighter and Frenchie. And Lamplighter, you're like, is he kind of a pussy? Like, is he kind of being forced into doing things because he's not as strong as the other soups when he was in the seven? So there's a lot of things where I'm like, okay, I'm very intrigued now. You know, I'm, pu I'm pulled in. So you get to see a lot of him. You learn more about the characters, which is always welcome. You get to see the relationship between Stormfront and Homelander get a little crazy because, you know, he's clearly in a, an unstable emotional that. And so you see how he gets to react. And you learn a little bit more about Stormfront where you're like, oh, immediately when she started talking about her history, I was like, oh, we're going for a full on that. <laughs> But, um, yeah, and then A-Train and the Deep slowly kind of being reeled into the Church of the Collective. So we'll see about that, if that's going to become, once again, another villain group. I would love to see slowly they just start recruiting everybody. Um, yeah, and then, like I said, Butcher and Starlight, you kind of, you know, they keep butting heads. And her, she's constantly asking him why he's being such a douche. And he's, you know, being him, sarcastic asshole. So, yeah, good episode. It's definitely leaving 
a lot to be answered in the next episode, which there's only two episodes, I think, left, so they better kind of hurry with that, so, yeah, uh, very enjoyable episode, um, really, really good gore effects, like, I'm wondering if Amazon is pulling all their resources for just this show, because, um, there's a lot of gore in this episode, and Jesus, do they do a good job of it, so, yeah, um, that's about it really good episode there's just that one really disgusting thing that happens but i think you'll get a good laugh out of it so thanks for watching i'm out